Ladies and gentlemen, approaching from your right, please welcome the great and unique Swiss Air Force PC-7 team. Now, 
All pilots in this display team are professional pilots of the Swiss Air Force. They normally fly the fighter jet FA-18 Hornet. The training for the P-7 team aerobatic displays repre represents only a small part of the pilot's activities. It's their hobby, so to say. And therefore, professionalism, discipline and teamwork are the principal skills required in order to perform a display of such precision and quality. And now on the left, a new formation symbolizing a tennis racket dedicated to the future of NATO. So this was the overfly in the tennis racket of our tennis player, Roger Federer. Now please look straight ahead, look straight ahead where the display of our two solists begins. They start the presentation with a looping adoué. And here we go, a looping adoué. And please observe now what is going to happen after this looping, an impressive crossing. Prepare your cameras. Attention, now. That was pretty close. And we will do more of this right now. As you can see, the PC-7 troop of training aircraft is not only a fast, but also... He's climbing and climbing. He will reach the minimum speed and falls in the spin now. But as the PC-7 is a very reliable and proven in training aircraft, this uncomfortable situation can be recovered easily, which is perfectly demonstrated by our soloist DJ right now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the highlights of this year's presentation, we are presenting to you the aerial tunnel. Therefore, the seven PC-7s approaching from the left have reduced the speed to 140 knots, extended the landing gear, and switched on the landing lights to finally form a tunnel. Our solids coming from the opposite direction with an airspeed of over 250 knots will now fly through this tunnel. <laughs> so, we have the tunnel. On the left, here it comes, the tunnel driver on your right. And now let's keep the eyes bright open to find the hole in this tunnel. The pilots of the P-7 team will be at your disposal at around uh, 2.30 at the information tent. That's where we have the Swedish and the Swiss flag. So 